this video, I want to show you how to identify all this information by yourself if you don't have construction info or 3SFM file. But like I mentioned, sometimes you might have wrong information from construction info as well as 3SFM file. So it's good to learn how to manually select all this information. So let's go ahead and uh, bring the case. So if you don't have those informations, it'll bring it as coping. So first, make sure you choose above and crown bridge and then open. All right, so now we have this file. So in this file, you can see the red, meaning I'm going to select the fixture again and high selected just to get rid of it from view. Okay, so let's go ahead and tilt it. I'm going to tilt it. Let's do 10 degrees. It's just a random number that I like. Okay, so it looks pretty good. So let's close it. And I'm going to rotate. Bring it all the way out. Because it has of gums and whatnot. All right. So let's look at the uh, undercuts. So this one, the design has very, very minor uh, undercuts. So if it's this minor, then uh, I don't think we have to do user defines. But just to just for learning purposes, I want to show you. All right. So first, we want to have the pink lines. So which is called abutment bases. So let's go ahead. So looking at this, there are one, two, three, four, five, six implants. So I'm going to select six pink lines. So automatic. And you can just click the edge of it. Okay. One or two. I want to show you how to generate manually too. So click on the menu. And click from the edge of it. Single click. And then you can keep going. So just go a little bit, click. Just go a little bit, click. A little bit more, click. A lot more. Click. More. Click. More. Click. Make sure it's not like here or here. So you want to click. Click. Okay. And going back to and this minor piece those two areas those are fine so okay so click 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 all right and if it's within the inner channel it's okay too if you want to redraw then you can delete it and then click a little bit more far away okay if not, then you can select and apply offset. I mean, there are some tools and I can go back and do renew, uh, redo and minus. Yeah, something like that. But as you can see, it looks terrible. So let's delete. And I can do manual. So just click, click. Click, 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 okay. Then I'm done. So we have all six. But see like here, it has an arrow, but if you look at this arrow, arrow doesn't have the uh, alignment with your screw channel. Because if your screw channel is like this, then your arrow should be pointing at this angle, but it's pointing at the other angle, right? So when you go to here, implant interface, 
we have to identify six channels. So you can make it rough or fine. This doesn't really matter. Uh, but sometimes it, it helps if you if you're having a hard time drawing screw channel, then I just change it to fine or rough and and try. So here I'm going to zoom in and show you. So click here, click here, and click here. And see, it'll draw the line, pretty line from the bottom. And you see this uh, arrow now became very strict and has the perfect alignment with the uh, screw channel. So that's perfect. And make sure you have the blue line on the uh, on here as well as your channel from the top. But this case, it's not. So I'm going to try to draw it again. And let's try to draw from right here. So now it, it only draw from there, but it didn't draw from the bottom. So I'm going to draw from the bottom too. See, these are the reason why we definitely want to have a construction info or a 3SFM file it will definitely help. But now here is see two. So having two is not good. You, on, you should only have one. So I'm going to click the first channel and then click the second channel, right click and merge it. Merge screw channel. If you do the merge, then basically you now have one screw channel. So let's go back here and implant interface. Now you have one. So this is perfect. You have max diameter and min diameter. So max diameter is the diameter of the screw channel from the top, and the min diameter is the diameter of the inner circle, uh, inner screw channel. So three and two. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and do the others. So you have to do this six times and it's very time consuming. So, oh, this one is perfect. So it came out from the top to bottom. It just gave me one straight channel. So that's uh, perfect. So this one came out a little weird. So I'm just going to select, select it and delete. And then let's try again. Zoom in more, click, click, click. Let's say you should have six pink lines, but you have eight pink lines, then somewhere the pink line is hidden somewhere. So what will happen is uh, during the milling process, it'll mill those area and it'll actually break your zirconium. So you don't want to, uh, no, this one I'll merge it after we're done. So let's keep going. Uh, it'll break it, so make sure you check those numbers and those number align them. So it's very important. Okay, so this one. Okay, see, this one is very interesting. It has two lines, right? So if I click previews, then it says it's, it is angle. So it's showing you that this channel is angle channel. Okay, so this is actually a good tool letting us know. And if you remember, I mentioned about uh, angle channels needing second step for power ball. So uh, we will go over that 
after this. Okay, so this is perfect. This is so now it has a two arrow, so it is angle two. Also, uh, if you're having uh, some special type of seating, then please let our support know too, because sometimes uh, we might not able to identify what kind of uh, seating area it is. But now you can see this one has two as well. Okay, so I mentioned about having six channels for six implants, but we have six implants, but seven selection. So that means something is not right. So let's check. I know exactly which one. So it was this one. See, like this one, I only have one arrow. Like it's kind of looking like that. But then this one, I have one here, I have one there. So you have to highlight both of them. Right click, merge. on you have one screw channel so that's perfect so if we go back now everything is perfect because we have six pink lines one two three four five six and if you go to under implant interface you also have six channels and within six uh, just looking at this drawing so this is straight channel straight channel straight channel angle 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 so we probably have three angles so straight 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 oh actually no oh yeah so angled 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 and straight so these threes are angled and these threes are straight so don't forget we have to do the second step and also after you mill uh, the angle channels are not going to get milled out so that's how you also know you need to do second step. So if the screw, before you remove everything, make sure you check and see if your screw channels are all milled out. All right, so just like previously, uh, we want to put the connectors. One, two, it's the same routine. Three, four, five, six, one on the facial, another one on the facial. All right, and then stabilizer, click. It gets pretty straightforward from here. Make sure you save, you want to save. I hate when computer just stop working and I have to do all these things again. So double click on this and just making a little look better, okay. All right, so user define time again. So user define, so simply go here. Yeah, just go like this. Doop, 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 and so I can still see the whole circle. So accept. Usually I do posteriors first, and then I do uh, an anteriors. So like here, here, here. Okay. And then answers, you can actually see from here too. Just angle it a little bit. Now I can see uh, gums a little better. So click, click, click. I don't wanna extend it too much because when I have a greater angle, I don't want it to fix, hit a tool to hit the fixture. All 
All right. Okay, so going back to identify part features. We want to see if, see like this one, it's barely hitting the fixture. So I'm going to reduce a little bit. So this one, 39.6, so I can tilt more. I have 40, 52, that's perfect. 39, so I can mill like this. 58, that's fine. So like this one, 14.9. So I'm going to reduce a little bit. 14.1, a uh, little bit less. 13.6, perfect. This one was perfect, so let's see. All right, so no error messages. So that's perfect. It's not hitting at either side of a fixture. So this is perfect. And then you can move this a little bit like here if you think it's going to be too close. And if you think this is wide enough, then you can do this too. See like this, you put it like this. Double click, like like this, double click, like this, double click. Basically what I'm doing is I want to have uh, another connector. Oh, see sometimes if you click automatic, then it'll screw up all the things. It was actually by accident. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo. So make sure you click undo here. Then it'll bring everything where it looks like before. So here, manual, and I'm going to select another one. Yeah, so you don't want to put like connectors like this close because I'll tell you why. So if you if the tool is trying to mill in between, the bird will shake in between these two screws and it'll break. So you don't want to do that. You, you have good distance in between connectors. So here, I want to bring the mouse 10 degrees, totally fine. With the uh, eight millimeter occlusal distance, height distance, so perfect. 8.9 degree with the 10.81 millimeter occlusal, perfect. 20.1 with 5.44, perfect. 24.6 with 12.39, perfect. Remember, uh, if it's a 20 millimeter, then not good. So 12 degree and 10, perfect. 16.7 and 6.68, perfect. Yep, so those are good. So this is perfect. So make sure you choose Powerball, accept. Make sure you change this template to be Powerball. Okay, so this is Powerball. Okay. All right, so. <laughs>